Welcome back, dear doers. One constant activity for companies is registering the bills they receive from their vendors. This can be time-consuming and repetitive, but it's necessary to keep your business running. At Bloom, we use Odoo to keep track of vendor bills directly from purchase orders and register the payments. Let's see how it works. So in Odoo, there are different ways of creating vendor bills. One way is from the purchase order directly. So if we have a purchase order like this one that is ready to bill, we can directly create its related vendor bill by clicking on the Create Bill button. This will automatically bring over the vendor, the order lines, and all the other information from the purchase order. Alternatively, we can go to the accounting dashboard. And from here in our vendor bills journal, we have the option to create manually. And here we even have this autocomplete feature. So we can select a bill and it's again going to bring over all of that information. It's automatically updated. And this is so convenient. It really saves us a lot of time. And you can even select multiple purchase orders from the same vendor to create one larger bill. Now let's check out my favorite feature and that's uploading a PDF of one of the bills I've received from a vendor. So from the dashboard, we can use uh, the upload button and we're going to select this bill and just open it. You can see how quickly all the info is automatically recognized by the document digitization tool and populated in the vendor bill form. If we need to make any edits or additions, we can, and we can see the line of the bill, all of its information, the label, its account, and finally the quantity, price, and tax. In the journal items tab, you can see the items that will be posted once the bill is confirmed. So now we can save and confirm the bill. And now that it's posted, a sequence gets assigned to the bill and the journal items get posted. Note that even after it's been confirmed and posted, the bill can still be reset to draft and canceled if necessary. So Dallas, what happens if I post a vendor bill without accounting date before the locked fiscal period? That's an interesting point. So. Odoo will automatically change the accounting date to the first possible date after the lock date so that the bill can be posted. You'll see we have two dates, the bill date, which is the day the bill is issued, and the accounting date, which is the day that the journal entry is posted. Next, you can directly register the payment by clicking Register Payment. You can add any payment info and simply create. At this point, you'll see the status as in payment until you register a bank transaction and reconcile, at which point it is marked paid. One last way that you can get to your bills is through an email alias. This lets you receive the bills sent from your clients directly in your database. So to set up an email alias, we'll go back to the accounting dashboard and on the vendor bill journal, we can go into our configuration and under advanced settings, we have our email alias here. So you'll see them appear directly on your dashboard once they're received, so you won't miss any of them. Finally, when you need to get an overview of your bills, you can always head back to the accounting dashboard, click again on these three dots in the vendor bills journal, and we have our bills analysis and our aged payables. So you have different ways of visualizing your bill situation and you don't lose track of anything. As you can see, there are so many different ways in Odoo to keep track of your bills, to keep them under control in just a few clicks. That's all for today from your pal Dal. I'll see you next time.